In this video, we are going to practice some of the data analytics play. To start with, we need to understand that uh, our MATLAB already has uh, uh, these keywords uh, embedded, so we can use MATLAB help to understand things when we want to. Okay, now we can load some of uh, the inbuilt uh, things in the MATLAB. So load hospital would load this data set, hospital, which has a first name, last name, uh, and things like that. Now once we have this, we can group it in the way we want to. So when we have this hospital set, we can use various function, group by, and that is a description uh, about the hospital set. Okay, now uh, let's move ahead. Uh, if we have uh, A which is uh, made up of not a number, uh, and if you want to play around with A, what we can do. So here I have taken out A. So if there is any not a number, uh, I would just uh, take that out. So before that, if I go back, it looks something like this and after that one two three four I've taken out it that's one way of killing things uh, when you don't like it there are there is another this data set which is uh, given in MATLAB which is uh, fees and this in fact uh, uh, help us to bring a lot of things okay and likewise, we can use this uh, data set. And matrix to data set uh, means that we can convert any uh, matrix into data set. So for example, this is a matrix because you see these cross. It does not have any heading. Uh, we can convert this into a data set. So matrix to data set would do that. Okay. So I'm taking this into X just to play around with that. And then I say DS is equal to data set. So DS is my data set. So for now it has taken X it's as its heading, but we can change the heading and rename the heading. Okay. Now there are two ways to read um, Excel file uh, into MATLAB. One is we can get into a data set. Otherwise we can get into, get it into matrix. So let me uh, save this into another version and clean this up. So anything uh, before that was not so much useful for us. This part is useful because we will use this to uh, remove everything. Uh, it says that any f not a number is found in A. Uh, and if uh, that is true, then remove uh, that thing. Uh, okay. Now uh, I'm going to clear uh, all the workspace. So northeast, you see your workspace, everything is gone. Now we can read data into two format. Uh, we can read that uh, as a data set, or we can read. Uh, as a matrix. Let's try to do both. I'm using Excel as read. And if things go right, it's still showing busy. It would come out as a matrix. It's keeping me busy. Okay. So this is 61,000 into 11. This is my data or I can uh, uh, get this into a data set. Now the data set and the matrix will have different icons as you can see on the workspace. Okay, there is some trouble while reading it. So the data was not clean. Uh, and uh, I think it found some non empty stuff. So let's go there and check. Let's 
let's see let's try v3 hopefully v3 works so um, I'm expecting v3 to work because v2 had some uh, data errors which I cleaned and v3 worked and we have the data now uh, how did I clean with data we are going to do that later now oh, let's see what happens if we say a uh, this is the tenth row which is the time so we can uh, select uh, a column based on like dot the name of the column or we can select that uh, uh, by uh, just uh, colon and comma 10 or we can say a dot start date it means the same thing okay now this is what I did to track the error. Uh, the error was in fact in a date which was blank. So I tried to loop in and then I said that okay something bad happened. When I, when I realized that something bad was happening then I looped it from um, 1 to 66,000 or whatever that was. And whichever row I found an exception I threw it back. now uh, we want to create a new date uh, which uh, which is the date format in matlab uh, and currently the date is into a string so we would like to use this new date and this new date would bring every date into a, a, a number date which matlab understands so that we are sure that uh, it is in the format that we are looking for so it's working it's busy and when it works we would probably see that in a better way now this new date was uh, also not working but between that uh, I'll show you how this uh, matrix look like and not the data table so and uh, there are too many things and that's why my MATLAB got stuck okay let's uh, wait for it to get into pack then uh, will force is not a number and the matrix that we pulled to zero and then again we can put the stuff now wherever it's not a number and unfortunately date was also gone away with not a number thing in the meantime this is the date that we are looking for this is the date format uh, now when we want to convert this uh, uh, matrix into a data ta data set we would use this data set command and we would say that this data table or the new data set that we want to compute we can give the column and the heading so if you see this cubes a different kind of a 3d cubes it's uh, a data table okay let's try to group this uh, in form of uh, campaign ID so this is the group data and this is the group stat so we could have just grouped it but for now we asked for a group stat so it gave us a group count and a group id now we can subtract two rows as well uh, and that would be just minus of two rows and we can create uh, other uh, group by things as well so uh, when I say that group state and I want to do it by a campaign ID column, it will give me that. Now beside the group stat, we can also use a group to group it into all those columns. So now if you look at the entire data set, you can use it using uh, the data set command where you will use dot equal to 6 and then you will use colon. So thereby you can put everything uh, with a particular state or a column. 